Hey everyone, I am Artosis, and I am back and ready to do a lot more commentaries on my YouTube channel. So thanks for checking out, and well, they're spoiling it for you before I can even give introductions. This is going to be EG Inca against Rek Zeus, and Rek Zeus, I am told, was actually quite good during the beta. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and take their word on that. <clears throat> so anyways, this is going to be a Protoss versus Terran match. And the map is going to be Zelnaga Caverns, as I'm sure that you already see. Now, I'm sorry if my voice just sounds a little bit nasally. For some reason, I have another cold. What can I say? <laughs> I've been getting a lot of colds recently. But it happens. It's almost gone. I'm feeling a lot better, thanks. Also, I'd love to know about the volume levels of everything. Voice versus music versus sound effects. I'm still zeroing in a little bit. I feel like it can be a little bit better than it is right now. So, uh... Any comments on that would definitely help out. So, thanks a lot ahead of time. Now, Terran vs. Protoss. Uh, this is a matchup that I am really enjoying lately. Uh, both to watch and to play and everything like that. Uh, it, it can be actually quite interesting. From what we've seen so far in StarCraft 2, I don't think it's anything like what the matchup should be or is going to end up being. Uh, we see Inca coming down, harassing this Wallen right away, but as I was saying, I feel like this matchup may even be Protoss favored, but no one really plays it the way that it really should be. I mean, look at OGSMC right now. That guy really knows how to play this matchup quite well, but I think even he should be uh, making more High Templars like Mana does. If any of you have not seen uh, Mao's Mana's PBT style, definitely go check out some of his VODs on my YouTube channel. Uh, it's really... It's awesome. It's a beautiful style to see. So anyways, Inca throwing up his gateway. He's going to start that uh, Cybernex core as soon as the gateway finishes. And then most sure, certainly his second gas. He's getting that any time now. In the meantime, Zeus just walling in, making that marine. The probe has actually done some really good harassment so far. Really damaged several SCVs and uh, not died. So that's pretty important. And Inca's smartly going to move away now as it's time for the marine to pop out. The orbital just about to finish up so some mules can get called down. And it looks like an SCV going to go and scout. If we look up here, Inca not getting his second gas quite yet. Instead, opting for that third pylon. Kind of interesting. Normally you would see the second gas by now in... Uh, most games of Protoss vs. Terran, so I'm thinking maybe we might see here something a little bit interesting from Inca. Uh, perhaps a fast expansion. Maybe proxy gateways. Certainly not proxy tech, though. He does not have the gas to support that. And it does look like it's just going to be a very fast expansion. Uh, this probe is coming out here, looking around. Maybe checking out for any proxies, but I think it's definitely going to go ahead and make... A nexus. Now, we do have a command center going up. Looks like uh, a Marauder expansion getting that concussive shell. And Inca catches the SCV, throws down a couple of pylons to make sure the SCV dies so there's no more scout on the map. And, you know, he loses 50 minerals from that, but kills that 50 mineral SCV that's also out getting information for his opponent. So, good move there by Inca. Gets a very fast expansion up, throwing up some more warp gates. Interesting build. I do like it. Uh, getting only his second gas just now. And, uh, well, he's going to have actually a really great economy. We see that more barracks are going to go up for Zeus. And his command center certainly will finish before Inca's Nexus. But that's pretty normal. Normally, Protoss takes slightly slower expansions in StarCraft II so far, as opposed to Terran. Uh, that may change in the future. But as of right now, it's definitely been that way. And it doesn't seem like it's imbalanced or anything. It's just a little bit different from StarCraft 1. Terrans right now seem to be a little bit more on the attack than Protoss players. So we see combat shields are actually on the way, which is quite interesting, getting that before Stim. And Zeus has decided that he's going to go ahead and start pressuring almost a full attack here coming out. Inca does not have a lot of units, though. Uh, just a Zealot, a Stalker, and a Sentry right now. And this Nexus, he's going to have to make a decision. Is he going to try to hold it? And yes, in fact, he is. He's warping in some more units, so he should be fine on holding that. Zeus, very smart, backing up. He does have that Concussive Shells. Uh, does not have Combat Shields yet, though. And an interesting Force Field right there for certain. Not sure if that was absolutely the best thing to do. But uh, also could use 
uh, a guardian shield. Zeus takes his expansion and accidentally lands his command center slightly off. More and more barracks going up. Second gas not quite started yet. Looks like he doesn't really care about uh, getting too much tech right now. Just going to get a lot of marines and marauders. Get those upgrades as well. Combat shields just finished up, so he's going to want to get stim pretty quickly now. Uh, you know, as he starts mining a little bit more gas. Even getting that refinery, realizing, uh-oh, with all these add-ons, I don't really have the gas to get my stim yet. And that is one important upgrade, that is for sure. So we see some observers being pumped up by Inca. He's got the three warp gates going. I love observer play against Terran. I feel like every Protoss should be getting at least two observers against Terran. You know, you've got to check out their main base, and you've got to try to follow their army and check out the rest of the map without losing units all over the place. So uh, we see Inca taking this third geyser right now. And let's take a look at the unit counting station. 34 probes against 33 SCVs, but there are four mules out right now. Looks like he was saving them for a moment, uh, maybe in case DTs came. Other than that, uh, army is pretty similar. Supply quite similar as well. Terran up at 68, Inca only at 64. And the observer does come down and see these units starting to move out. Let's take a look at the production tab. Uh, well, the stim pack nowhere near done, so he's not going to be able to stim in this attack. But Inca won't truly know that, how close stim is to done. And that could make him a little bit more scared about any possible attack. But look at this army. When force fielding correctly, this army should be able to hold that off no problem. You know, the Terran army will have to come in through one side or the other. Go ahead, force field through half of it. Zealots will hit. The uh, Immortal can absolutely destroy Marauders at that point. So Inca has a very good army to deal with what Zeus has right now. <clears throat> and I'm sorry, my voice is just becoming more and more nasally. I am just so sorry about that. <laughs> I will not have this cold soon, I promise. I have a stronger immune system than it has seemed this year. Alright, beautiful by Inca. Where is it? Where is it? There it is, Twilight Council. And uh, this is just awesome. For those of you who've been watching Tar Terran vs. Protoss games that I've been casting lately, uh, very quick Twilight Council is amazing. You want Psy Storm. If you can get Psy Storm before the first big attack by the Terran Marine Marauder Armory, you're going to feel absolutely amazing. But it looks like Inca wants to get very fast charge here, which is, wow, that's a little bit weird because, you know, he has all these sentries up here. And uh, with all those sentries, normally what they do is they make the wall behind the Terran army so your Zalts can connect. But, uh, well, I guess he wants to connect in more ways than one. We see that Zeus just walked around with this little army, making a supply depot at his third base. One of the more popular third base locations. Cool move there. And getting his third command center up. So Zeus, ooh, I don't really know much about this guy, but I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. <coughs> Excuse me. Because, you know, he's actually taking a third base instead of just being like, all right, I have two bases, time to attack. And uh, that's pretty awesome to see. So Inca getting ready to take his third base as well. But definitely Zeus going to have his up first. We do have Psystorm on the way. He's going to go ahead and start chrono boosting through that. And when Inca actually has Psystorm going on, this army is going to be so good against what we see here from Rex Zeus. So Zeus is going to start scouting, but this Observer on top of his army the entire time. Some medevacs are coming out. Double reactor starports, and in fact, look at this, a Viking being made. So really, Zeus right now has no idea. Well, now he does because he just scanned. And he sees that high tempers popping out. Here we go. Beautiful forest fields. <laughs> Zealots just trap everything in there. And wow. This is absolutely crazy. It looks like Inca is going to be able to crush through this army. He just keeps trapping and retrapping all these units that Terran has. And Inca going to go ahead and remove them all from the game. Except the ones that do get into those medevacs and get away. But let's take a look at the supplies now after that. Very even, 94 to 93, but Inca has to be feeling quite good against about that. He did not lose a lot except for Zealots, and those are mineral heavy units. He's taken a gold base. That's fine. He's still got his main spellcasters, his main gas units. He even still has an immortal in here, and his high templars now. They have Psy Storm and they have enough energy for Psy Storm. So every attack from here on out for Zeus is gonna be a little bit harder than that. 
We see Kadarin and Amulet on the way. In the meantime, Ghost Academy just finishing up for Zeus. So he's going to get those ghosts out to help out the spellcasters. And here we go. Uh, nice Guardian Shield going up. Some force fields being thrown down. Prevent them from running over to that planetary too easily. One size storm goes down. Not the most effective one. But still, look at this. A nice size storm there. And this little tiny army of Zeus. Not going to be able to do a whole ton. And it looks like actually Metavax. Two of them may have been uh, feedback there. Great move to do to Metavax is to actually feedback them. And uh, well. Oh, I'm so sorry. That must sound so gross. <laughs> Well, Inca, uh, it looks like he is behind in supply again, but his army is much more cost-efficient than the army of Zeus. Zeus has mostly Marauders, Marines, and Medivacs, and Psy Storm, along with uh, some good central usage, and Speed Zolts is going to be good against that, and here he goes. Looks like he's going to walk up and try to hit in here. Nope, uh, Psy Storm is for Inca right now. Kind of a weird moment to press the move command. And finally takes out those annoying marauders right there. So it looks like right now they both have pretty similar economies. Let's take a look at that. Income tab. Uh, it looks like just slightly ahead Inca is because he does have more probes. No, he doesn't. 53 to 85. What? Oh my god. And nice EMPs right there. But some good size storms do get off. <coughs> and it looks like still going to be able to hold on for now. Uh, you know, without shields, the Protoss army very much weaker than it should be. And it looks like a lot of damage being done here. Inca may, in fact, plow through here. These Archons going to help out quite a bit when they actually can get up there and get some hits on. And, uh, well, <laughs> this is actually such a weird game right now. You know, a lot of EMPs, and Inca still trying to do some battles. Warping in some more High Templars. That's going to be the important unit to keep size storming with. And some more Ghosts joining the fray as well. Four Ghosts mixed in this army right now. But uh, I'd like to mention 91 SCVs right now for a Terran player. That's actually, like, too many SCVs. At this point, you know, you have mules come down. You have that gold base. No real reason to have that many. In fact, this is so oversaturated that it is has extra SCVs that you don't quite need. Now, his income is going to be awesome, but his maxed army is going to be way weaker. On the other hand, Inca, 63 probes, a much more manageable number of probes. Although, he could use a little bit more than that. Now, we have more probes transferring out. Of course, he is mining out his main base, so he doesn't need as many probes up there. And some High Templars coming down. Looks like they're trying to get some storms off before they get... Uh, you know, may want to do some feedbacks on those ghosts, if at all possible. And an EMP does get off there. Surprised he's not using a lot of EMP's ghosts, but Storm's doing a great job as well, weakening up Zeus's army, as you see. A lot of damage being taken there. And just random marauders trying to stim up and see if they can't pick off some ghosts. Now we do have a little drop going on, but there are some cannons and zealots warping immediately. High Templars there as well. And this drop not really going to end up doing very much. So it looks like Zeus thinking about perhaps attacking this base, but good cannon placement. It's going to be very hard to attack new, especially with High Templars there. <coughs> and some more cannons being put up as well. Just some defensive positions by Inca. And it looks like he is getting ready to go ahead and take another base. In the meantime, Zeus does have that other base. But again, Zeus's army, not going to be the most cost-efficient thing in the world. He's it's got to rely upon good EMPs. Let's take a look. Really good EMPs so far. They can warp in some more High Templars. So he's got to be careful about that. And be very swift on his hits. Oh, beautiful Psy Storms. Just ripping into this army. And Zeus not even trying to run from them at that point. And still attacking into these cannons. Down comes a Colossus. A good counter when your opponent starts getting good with Ghosts. Throw in some Colossus. They don't care about the Ghosts nearly as much. And Inca's army looking pretty fierce. But retreating to the Planetary Fortress. Let's take a look. He's got a lot of barracks here for reproducing his army quite quickly. More and more factories. More and more barracks. Actually, really good macro here by Zeus. I'm pretty impressed. <coughs> and uh, Inca, on the other hand, decent number of warp gates. And spending his money more on just tech and doesn't have as much as an in uh, income anyways. So that's totally fine. Now, 
we see these medevacs all extremely low on energy from healing up all those storms. And it is looking like Zeus thinking about going for an attack pretty soon here. Taking another base. God, this guy expands a lot. Absolutely wild. And let's see here. Time to look at the upgrades. Only 1-1. One, one, no armor yet for Zeus. Inca, on the other hand, only plus one to his armor. Uh, kind of odd. We normally do see a little bit more upgrades than that. Getting that plus two armor. It looks like he's going to go ahead and attack. Zeus coming in, stimming. Trying to kill these cans. There's a lot of eye templars and colossus, though. I can't imagine this ending well for Zeus. He gets stormed and does start to retreat. <coughs> and it's... Ouch, looking bad for Zeus at this point. He's still got a huge army, but over 100 SCV, so his actual fighting army, too low in this game. Inka walking over his own force fields with those huge Colossus units, and it is looking like Inka is going to be able to do some sick damage here. I mean, these already have the Thermal Lance upgrade, and he's going to be able to attack right into this planetary and just siege it if he wants. Uh, Zeus just keeps on pumping out more units because, well, he does have an insane economy with that 101 SCVs. But Inca just crushing through. Very cost-effective units here. Still has so many of his early game centuries. That is something anyone can learn from. Portals players want to keep those alive all game long, if at all possible. You never really want to lose them in a battle. They should. If you're ever in a battle where you're losing centuries, where are the rest of your units? Have other stuff in there to be killed, all right? The sentries you want to keep alive. These things are expensive. <coughs> now we see he's down to 99 SCVs. That is still just so many SCVs. Look at this. Way too many SCVs there. Way too many up here. Finally send those away. And a uh, few too many here. So he's got to be a little bit more careful about that, I think. It's kind of hurting his maxed army, having half his supply in SCVs. On the other hand, Inca up around 70-something. That's about the maximum that you normally want of a worker, is 70-something. Sometimes you can shoot up to 100-ish for a while with Zerg and Terran, sometimes even Protoss, but you got to be very careful with that and get rid of them later. All right, it looks like Inca going to go ahead for this attack. A lot of Vikings are out now, but Inca has a fearsome army indeed, pushing forward at these siege tanks. Siege tanks doing a lot of damage. Marauders coming in for a flank. And these Colossus is being microed over. The planetary even goes down. And even though there's a lot of siege tanks left, that is not going to be enough. It looks like Inca will, in fact, crush through the Zeus army. And it's, I mean, Zeus still has plenty of economy. <coughs> and uh, as most of the map, a ton of production facilities. Really well played game, but it really seems like he just had too much of his supply in SCVs. If he had 25 less of the SCVs, and you know, all that supply in sea chanks, you know, eight more sea chanks sitting there. That battle may have gone completely differently. So, you know, that's what happens right now. It looks like uh, Zeus obviously can't keep this up, just rallying units out that are dying instantly to Inca's little army. And that is it. GG. Inca takes the game down. And uh, thanks, y'all, for watching.